Are you still watching me? Again? What do you want from me? Okay, so for those who don't know me, my name is Mr. Mark and I, I'm your English teacher, alright? So I will make you learn the future simple today. And there are five ways of using the future simple, alright? So let's get started. So before we start, I would like to tell you that the, the formation of the future simple, it's person. Okay, person. What is a person? Person is I, you, we, he, she, it. Okay, this is a person. Okay, I, we, he. Okay, then plus will. Will. Will is constant, all right? And plus a verb. Any kind of verb without two. So it could be do. It could be be. It could be write, read, whatever. So it's, they are verbs, all right? Okay, so let's move on to the first way of using the future simple. How you can use this future simple. Okay, so the first way is willingness. Willingness when you are ready to do something. I'm ready to help, I'm ready to do something for you, like to learn, to teach English, okay? So, somebody is knocking on the door. I'll open it. So, I'm ready to open it, okay? So, here we have the contraction form of I will. So, I plus will gives I'll. Okay, I'll. We can say I'll. All right, so the next one, the next way of using the future simple is promise or offer. So when you promise, when you offer something, okay, when you are ready to do something. Um, for example, I will help you understand how to give questions in the future simple tomorrow. All right, so I promise you. Or I offer you. Did you understand that? Okay, let's go further. Let's go to the third way of using the future simple. Here is refusal. You refuse. You don't want to do that. You refuse. Okay? So, for example, she won't tell me her salary. Okay? What is won't? Probably you don't know what the won't is. So won't is the combination of will plus not. So it's a negation, it's a negative form, all right? So she won't tell me her salary. Maybe her salary is very big, okay? But maybe her salary is very low and she has some complexes of her salary, all right? Okay, so the next one, the next way of using the future simple is the future fact. Fact that we exactly know that w w something will happen, okay? We are sure that something will happen. So, for example, Christians will celebrate Easter on the 21st of April in 2019. So it's a fact, yeah? So this year Christians will celebrate Easter on this day. But you can also say the sun will rise in the east tomorrow. Yes, at 7 a.m. It's a future fact. I know exactly. I know about it. Okay? Everybody knows about this. And the final way of using the future simple is prediction. So prediction that you, you, you are giving a forecast. You predict something. Alright? That something will happen. For example, Children won't go to school in the future. Probably will, probably not. So you are giving some prediction. 
almost every family will have a robot till 2050. That's my prediction. What is your prediction, guys? So your homework for the next time will be to write five sentences in the five way using the five ways of using the future simple, all right? In the comments below. So, before we wrap up, guys, give a link, give a like to this channel, share these videos with your friends and followers, press the bell button not to miss any videos with my participation, and see you!